rain coming out like cars like this. People have been coming out from shelters just to survey the damage. Take a look. This is what streets are looking like when they come see it. Just impassable. This is what is happening in all the suburbs, really, along Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach County. 58% of the state without power. 58% of its residents without power this morning. Just astounding. And really, Miami may not have been as hard hit or close to the eye, but we got hit hard, despite the fact that the eye did not go through here. Um, again, we had power lines down, water three feet high in Brickell Avenue in downtown, cranes collapsing, at least two in Miami and another in Fort Lauderdale. Um, and, you know, we also had panels flying off of buildings post. Uh, post storm, and on top of all of that, we've seen police patrols in neighborhoods to try to stop looters. Looters uh, caught on video trying to get into a Foot Locker. Another uh, 28, uh, according to Miami Police Department, 28 looters have been arrested so far this morning. As remember, what right to your point, so many hundreds of thousands, millions of people were evacuated and just trying to find a way to come back into town. But the problem is, is that they're coming in with the light and realizing that there are down trees actually behind guys. You see that tree over there? That entire road is blocked. So neighborhoods are now becoming really hard minefields to uh, to get through right now. And so that's the situation um, here in Florida, guys. And, and, to, and to one last point, uh, yeah. I just wanted to just uh, extend a thank you. We have a smudge on our camera because we've been out in hurricane coverage for for two or three days now, yeah. and um, my photographer, Guy Hernandez, came all the way from Houston coverage for a couple weeks and came straight down here to Florida to join me. Big thanks to him and Whitney Shazik, who uh, rode out her first hurricane outside in the hurricane, mm -hmm. so extremely brave of her as well, and all of the people at Fox, the hundreds of people <laughs> behind the scenes that made it happen.